Governor Matt Bevin's inauguration day is coming to a close. Hundreds gathered outside the state capitol this afternoon as he and Lieutenant Governor Janine Hampton took their public oath of office. There was also a parade and a festival to welcome the new governor. As WKYT's Monique Blair shows us, the day of celebration wrapped up tonight with a grand march. After a day full of many inaugural traditions, at last came the inaugural Grand March. And although it only lasted a few moments, they were moments that made history. The Grand March, an inaugural tradition that recognizes the Commonwealth's highest leaders and officials, along with their partners, as they descend one couple at a time from the third floor of the Capitol to the rotunda. Please welcome your new Lieutenant Governor of the Commonwealth of Kentucky, the Honorable Janine Hampton and her husband, Dr. Doyle Isaac. And as they sang My Old Kentucky Home. Incoming Governor Matt Bevan and his wife, Glenna, were introduced to the public. The Governor of the Commonwealth of Kentucky, Matt Bevan, Accompanied by the First Lady, Glenna Bevan. Welcome to the capital of Kentucky, Governor Bevan. And once at the bottom of the steps, the Bevans were greeted by their nine children. The ceremony ended as Governor Bevan and his wife, Glenna, had their first dance. The Grand March is a tradition that dates back to the mid 19th century, and Tuesday night, several hundred people took part in that tradition. It was an event that was free and open to the public. In Frankfurt, Monique Blair, WKYT.